Alright, time to unlock Plague Diamond, so when using the grenade launcher, it's best to just train the zombies up like this right here, and then fire a grenade into the center of the horde. But I will go ahead and let you know, insta-kill is your very best friend on here. Why do I say that? Well, keep in mind, this is wave 7. Okay, keep that in mind. That's why it's your best friend. I didn't even kill a single zombie, even though I hit one directly with it. So yeah, train them up. Shoot in the middle. Also, uh, before I get any further into the gameplay, I just want to go ahead and let you guys know what my uh, upload schedule is going to look like while we're at the loading screen here. So every Monday and Wednesday, I'm going to try to have a Call of Duty video out, much like today. This is a lock and plank diamond for the grenade launcher. Unfortunately, I didn't, uh, I, for whatever reason, I was live streaming and clipping at the same time. But the clip's gone, and I don't know where it went. But I did load into a game of me using Plague Diamond. So yeah, I at least got that for y'all. And also, every Tuesday and Thursday, I'll be playing whatever game I'm playing through at the time. Right now, it's Sackboy. So yeah, I'm having a lot of fun with that. And then Fridays are going to be the fighting games. So, so whatever fighting game I feel like playing, that's going to be Friday. And Saturday, I'm going to either... That's either going to be my day off or I'm going to play a sports game. And then Sunday, I'm either going to stream or just upload just, you know, randomly. Anyways, let's go and get right back into the video. And now, man. Again, insta kill is your best friend. That's my third grenade, and this is my fourth one, okay? Insta kill is your best friend against these freaking zombies with a grenade launcher. And yeah. Shockingly enough, the easier rounds for me were, yeah, the Plague Hound rounds. This weapon is unnecessarily good against the Plague Hounds. I don't know why, but it made me happy. Also, I don't know why it's going in slow motion right there. So yeah, unnecessarily good against the Plague Hounds. And uh, just look at this, the Plague Hounds can't even get to me. All you gotta do is hit roughly in their area, and it kills them most of the time. However, uh, one of the rounds that I had to think about, yep, the Elite Rounds. Now, at first, these guys really had me scratch my head wondering how am I going to take them down easily. But then I just decided to stop being lazy, so here's the best way to take them down easily. First things first, don't be like me. Get Juggernaut. Get Juggernaut, okay? And then second thing, second, upgrade your weapons and get armor, man. Don't be dumb like me, okay? Upgrade your weapon. Okay, not at just Pack-a-Punch, at the armor station as well, because you can upgrade your armor and your weapon at that station. And yes, I did go down to this round, sadly. Yeah, don't be like me. Also, be highly careful when using this grenade launcher, because it does a lot of damage to you if you're too close. I think it does 75 damage to you if you're too close. So after you get the Elite to split like that, Try to get both of them as close to each other as you can, and then fire at both of them. Try to do damage to both of them at the same time, because that'll make things easier for you. When you take one out, you can just take the other out rapidly. And I should be taking... Yeah, I'm about to take one out right now. Unfortunately, I started a new round. Huh? <laughs> it is very easy to accidentally start new rounds with the grenade launcher when battling the elites. Very easy. So after that, you don't really have much to worry about. Really, in my opinion, getting the consecutive kills, surviving the play count rounds, and taking out the elites were the three hardest things I had to worry about when it came down to this grenade launcher. Getting the camos itself was more of time consuming than difficult. All the other camos, anyway. <sighs> Upgrade the weapon, it gets so much better. Yeah, in a few moments, I'm going to take out the other elite, and then we're just gonna get into just me running around, just killing everything. Oh, and also, look, I don't know if it rewards it every single time, but it has every time I've done it. So, yeah, if you want Juggernaut at a cheaper price, and you're using the grenade launcher as your primary. Buy a random weapon off the wall, or even get it out of the mystery box, and do the dancing zombie easter egg, okay? 
if you do this, it rewards you. If you're playing with a sniper, it rewards you another weapon to use as well. And it also, actually, it rewards you the weapon regardless. As you can see, it flopped back there behind me, but there it is, Juggernaut. It gives you Juggernaut. And man, does Juggernaut help out a lot. It really does. The weapon's actually at my feet, but you've seen a quick glance of it right there. I don't even think I picked it up. I didn't. Yeah, and then here's another round with the uh, Brute, but I have my weapon upgraded this time, so it's doing a lot more damage. And you can tell a weapon's been upgraded if you look in the bottom right corner, the name down there. If you, it's your weapon that you spawn in with, the name would be red. And then I think the first upgrade, it turns green. And then the second upgrade, which is what I have right now, blue. And then I want to say the third upgrade is purple, but I'm not 100% sure. And as you can see, it's just doing a lot of damage. Like, the Elite just doesn't really stand a chance right now. And as he's splitting, I'm getting more ammo for it. And then we're just doing a lot more damage. You can't probably can't really tell because I'm not really hitting them directly. I'm trying to take out both. I thought I turned my alarm off. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Hang on. But yeah, it does a lot more damage when you upgrade it. Don't be like me and upgrade this weapon as soon as you possibly can. All right, it took me so many attempts at so many waves <laughs> to finally be like, you know what? I'm upgrading these weapons. And as you can see, I'm dealing with the Plague Hound round as well as the Elite Zombie, and I was just not worried at all. In fact, when I seen the Plague Hound round starting up, I was like, oh, thank God, at least I got this. And the reason I say get the armor is because I don't know if it's just me or if it's actually a thing. I feel like the armor, like, what's the term I'm looking for, uh? It takes away a lot of the plague effect. The plague damage, anyway. I don't know if it's just me or if that's actually a thing, but to me it feels like it takes away a big percentage of it. Because normally, them throwing their uh, plague at me would do about 60 damage. And right here, both of them together only did 50. I did more damage to myself shooting at close range with a grenade launcher than they did with their uh, projectile attack. And again, I don't know if it's just me, but yeah, as you can see right there, it happened. Man, and with all of that, once you upgrade it, eh, all these challenges aren't really that hard. Like I said, it's more of time consuming. Just upgrade the weapon and then just play and you'll unlock all the camos in no time with the grenade launcher. And last uh, video I did the I did like this. I unlocked the gold viper camo for the knife. And my next weapons, I'm debating on either doing snipers or just going from right to left. And if I'm to do that, my next weapons will be the launchers. But anyways, I think coming up is where I have plague diamond on my grenade launcher and inside of a match being. So I lost the clip for unlocking it. Yep, see there I am holding it. I love Plague Diamond, it looks so cool. Also, uh, my cousin's favorite color is purple, the one I played Brawlhalla with, so he, he'll he probably love Plague Diamond too. <laughs> Man, it just looks so freaking cool, and I can't wait to have uh, Dark Aether, but I, I'm still very long away for that. Very, very, very long time away from that. <sighs> But in the comments, let me know if you guys would rather me go after the snipers next or the rocket launchers next. And yeah, let's go ahead and hop into a game while using Plague Diamond. Again, sorry for losing the me unlocking it normally clip. And here we go. Hmm. Also, if you don't have this character unlocked, all you gotta do is successfully exfil three times in your unlocker. It, just lo it looks so sick. And for those of you that don't know how to use emotes on here, all you gotta do is hold left on the D-pad. If you tap left on D-pad, it marks the uh, location you're currently looking at. And then if you hold left, it pulls up that wheel. It just looks so sick, man. Anyways, that's gonna conclude today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, hit that thumbs up. Also, subscribe to the channel if you are new. And I'll see y'all in the next video.